Hello everybody, welcome to Spain's Field. We deconstructed it a couple of years ago. What it was, was um, we had to go down from a roadside, down to two fields. It was just up from Stanhope. Uh, between the Stanhope and Rookup Road, there's a, there's a road that bends up and it, it comes to a summit on the top. It was just down off that summit. It overlooked the Weardale Valley. So what we had to do was go down, we had to put a temporary road in, dismantle it all, bag it all. Obviously it all had to be logged, um, and recorded. It was brought back to Beamish. It now lies in 635 bags, I do believe, plus pallets. Plus we've got pallets from the stone roof that all came back. It took us about, I think it was 14 weeks the first stage, which we got it down from roof height down to the floor level, but we left various walls up for after winter. We came back after the winter, uh, rebagged all that as well. That was another couple of months. and. Then it was all back here. So in all, it took about six months to get it down. In fact, I quite enjoyed taking it down because as we took it down, as we de deconstructed it, we found the different ages of different buildings. It was obviously, it's one big building now, but it was actually three or four separate buildings which were all linked up and added through the years. So the house got bigger and bigger and the farm got bigger and bigger. Um, so when we took it down, we found one, two, I think it was four stages of different buildings in it. Uh, so it, we are actually building it back the same way. So you'll, you'll still see various straight joints where buildings were butted up against each other and what have you when we finished it. So we'll try, we'll try and retain that on the way back up. All the lintel sills and heads will be going in the same places, but the stone, obviously the stone will be going in, well as you can see there's numbered stone here for coins, uh, but the stones will be going in the vicinities of where it came from, obviously it's not all individually numbered. In the end, it worked out there was about 1,200 tonnes of stone came back. Um, on top of that, we obviously brought the timbers as well. The way we weighed it was quite simple, actually. The lad whose wagon it was carries eight tonnes at a time, so we just multiplied the bags that we brought over. Uh, it came to 1,200 tonnes of stone, which has now got to be laid again. Um, that includes the slates, though, and then you've got on top of that, you've got your timbers. So at least we know what it weighs. At least we know what a farmhouse weighs, if anybody asks you. So 14 weeks ago, um, the rains came out and the joplings, um, they came out for us. We had, we had a ceremony where Mary, Mary Rain, who's now 99, she laid the first stone and Alan, Alan laid a stone, Alan Joplin. He was from the family who actually owned the place. Uh, the, the, the father gave this to us. Um, they came out, that was 14 weeks ago, so 14 weeks on, here we are standing in pretty half, halfway up. So well, we've progressed, we've progressed. We will be stopped with the weather, but we'll be back after, after the bad weather. And then hopefully we can get Mary, Alan, everybody out who had a lot to do with it to open, the, to open it for us. It's now December. Uh, the sun's shining today, of course, but yesterday it was frozen cold. We now can't work in three degrees and below, so it has to be wrapped up. You'll see the wrapping on some of it anyway. It'll still get wrapped like you'll see on the gable end over there. It'll be wrapped up for Christmas once it gets too bad and we'll come back to it in spring. It's because it's built with lime, um, the lime mortar doesn't, doesn't work. If it gets too cold, it separates from the sand and becomes a powder, so you lose its strength. So it has to be carefully built. So at this stage in December, uh, we are probably a good third of the way up. We're nearly at joist height when the joiners will come over and put the joists on for us. We'll build them in and then head up to roof height get the roof on and hopefully get it covered and stoned the stone roof gets put on after that hopefully get it covered i would think summertime probably summertime if we're lucky uh, then then it comes down the scaffold will come down and we've got a few outbuildings to do we've got pig's die uh, the outdoor outside toilet which will be going back up um, we've got the stable on the back and we've got a few um, little buildings on the back we have a hay barn to go here, so obviously with the, with the animals that will be in here, we'll store the hay there. So it'll become an active working farm um, with, a, with a farmhouse in it. You'll be able to come and visit and have a look around and see how people lived. Uh, so hopefully we'll, we'll look forward to seeing you all. Thank you very much and uh, Merry Christmas.